Reading Scientific Service Limited's biomolecule analysis can help ensure your product attains the required quality, safety, and efficacy standards. Here we highlight techniques used when setting specifications of biomolecules to meet the ICH-Q6B guidelines. A selection of the analysis that are followed when characterizing a monoclonal antibody, a common type of biopharmaceutical, are demonstrated. The issue of protein purity may be addressed by molecular weight-based separation techniques. Here, the results, pre- and post-enzymatic carbohydrate removal, are displayed following separation. Only the heavy and light chain bands, and no other protein contaminants, can be seen in the antibody alone sample. Confirmation of primary and secondary protein structure can be addressed, in part, by use of high-resolution mass spectrometry. Following digestion with proteases to generate peptides unique to the protein being analyzed, peptide masses, sequences, disulfide bond patterns, and other post-translational modifications are determined. This is necessary to ensure protein specifications are met for batch release, and any variance found is within defined limits. An example of peptide determination from an antibody light chain is shown. N-linked glycosylation is a common protein post-translational modification. Oligosaccharides, released from the protein, are tagged with a UV-absorbing or fluorescent compound. These are separated following HPLC, and the processed chromatogram is used to help identify the oligosaccharides. In this example, biantenary oligosaccharides with core fucose are found. The purity of the biomolecule is paramount. Protein expression in cell-based systems necessitates very high levels of biomolecule purity and additional complexity to the testing regimes undertaken. It is essential to remove any material that may lead to life-threatening immunological or mutagenic responses. Purified material can be screened by qPCR to determine if whole cell DNA is present and can detect 30 femtograms of DNA a level that may not be apparent when using other analytical procedures. In addition to qPCR, ELISA is commonly used to detect the presence of whole cell protein. Process-specific ELISAs may be necessary to satisfy the requirements of the regulatory authorities. Levels of whole cell protein allowed are set on a case-by-case -case basis. Typically, an optimized ELISA can detect as low as 1 nanogram per mil of whole cell protein. Stability trials ascertain any changes to the efficacy, immunological or biophysical characteristics of the product. Any change must remain within defined limits for the biomolecule. In summary, the analysis helped to define the product specifications and the critical tests performed during production and batch QC of the biomolecule, which will be submitted to the regulatory authorities. RSSL has the analytical resource and technical expertise to help you through both the discovery and submission process.